beginner scale to even hardcore. With all these examples, I think that I've seen a lot of good in VR and a lot of disappointing and shit in VR. But I haven't seen a product this so goddamn shitty and hollow and soulless in a long time. In the metaverse, your possibilities are limited. I don't even think people were thinking that this game could ever be good, or was even hyped about it in the first place. Yes, of course, I'm talking about the infamous Facebook Horizons. You thought that the very lows of VR was really shitty? This is the Mariana Trench in comparison. Goddamn journey to the center of the earth low. Facebook Horizons is the definition of culprit. You can actually see and feel how artificially made this game is. Presentation for this game right away is just straight up pathetic. Going for this overly simplistic style that's trying to come off as cute and stylish when in reality, it looks like it has the graphical complexity of a phone VR game that was developed in 2016. This little style that's going on around me, like it is not charming at all. It looks more lazy than anything. It looks like this was made with the Roblox studio maker fucking shit. Like it honestly looks really bad. Facebook Horizon Worlds is more social oriented when it comes to its worlds where you can hang out and talk to your friends in a virtual space. Which if you have heard of this before, you probably have. Because this game is about 5 years late of VR chat, 6 years late of Rec Room, 15 years late of Small World, shout out to Small Worlds, that is the most underrated online social hub I've ever seen, 17 years late of Roblox, Baller. 18 years late of Club Penguin, and 23 years late since Habo released. Virtual spaces to hang out and chat with your friends have existed for a very long time on the internet and in gaming, so it is pretty ballsy of Facebook to act like these other social hubs have not existed, especially VRChat, and act like they are the first ones to create a space where you can socialize with your friends virtually when that is far from the truth. Well, if you're not really for the social aspect, what about the games? What are the crown staples of Facebook Horizons? And is featured gladly on the front page of fucking Facebook Horizons. Well, if this is the best that they got, then this is pretty depressing. There's a map called Retro Zombies, which um, I feel like I'm playing Dead Rising on Roblox while trying to run it on Nokia phone from the early 2000s. I have seen DS games that look better than this piece of shit. Oh no, what will I do? Hopefully I can do a 360 no scope. Oh my god, I did a 360 no scope, can you believe it guys? Oh my god. This game is so fucking boring. This, this is the worst one out of the bunch, Jesus Christ. There is this one game that I played where it was sort of fantasy theme and there were staffs and you had to stand in a circle. And from what I played and from what I could remember, I think there's more action going on in a point and click game than this game. It's just so fucking simplistic to the point that it's just boring. Visuals are terrible, gameplay is terrible, all around just terrible. There's a game called Arena Clash, which is basically just paintball. Guns are oversimplified, everything just looks fucking boring. There's no personality to anything, it just looks fairly simple. Handling guns is mostly one-handed, but when there's two-handed, it's fucking terrible. People take too long to respond, and I think that even your grandma would rather go into a comatose state than fucking play this game. All of these concepts that fucking Facebook Horizons throw at you have basically been done better in other virtual games. The paintball minigame is practically the same as Rec Room, almost to a degree that I feel like it's just blatantly ripping it off. They have these hubs that are focused on purely interacting with people, which I feel like VR chat just does that way better. Not just in graphics, but also in the way that you can customize your character. You'd be a goddamn car in that game, like, come on. They keep on sponsoring this game as if it's like an all-in-one solution. Which, um, if you're looking for that, I guess play Roblox. Which it makes me think, if you're gonna go out all this way just to socialize with some friends, why not just play another game? If you wanna play a shooter, 
wide play on here, especially if you have a headset. If you just want to play a shooter, just play Onward, Pavlov, Contractors, Hyper Dash, anything but Veil, anything but Veil, anything but Veil. If you really just want to chat and talk to your friends, why not just play games like Minecraft, Just Act Natural, Gang Beast, Jackbox Party Pack, Dark Souls. I can't even say that without laughing. There's so many alternatives out there that just makes this game useless. This game is just a cluster fuck of not knowing what it even wants to be. I don't even think it knows what it is. It just wants to have its cake and eat it too. Does it want to be a social hub? Does it want to actually produce games inside of it? Does it want to target teenagers or old people or kids? Up, oh, can't say kids anymore because it's 13 plus, so what is the target audience for this game, really? The most entertaining thing that I have to say about this game is that it sure is entertaining to see. Not because it's good, but just because of how much they are trying to one-up their competition while failing so horribly at trying to outstage their competitors. It is amazing that billions of dollars have been put into this game, resulting in screwing up their own company and also their workers just to fulfill an idea that already has its head in the sand. I really do not have hope for the future of this game. The dumpster fire is entertained a witness, but eventually looking at a fire is just boring and gets old quick. Do not play this game. Do not give them any motive of thinking for a second that they think that people enjoy this. I am just annoyed most that it just wasted my time. This may be the worst VR game I've ever played. Which is saying a lot because I hate Medal of Honor VR with a burning fucking passion. But at least I can say that the graphics look good in some parts and that you actually have interactivity when it comes to the game. Facebook, write this down, write this down! At least when there's a underwhelming game, I have some qualities that I enjoy of a game. But this game, there's literally no qualities. All I can say is that it's a game that released, it functions, and that if you forgot about this game exactly after this video, I would not blame you. It's that fucking terrible. <laughs> Anyways, I'm giving this a 1 out of 10. I did not stutter, it is actually that bad. Anyways, subscribe if you want to, like if you want to, even comment if you want to. I don't care. You do you. Whatever you do, do not play this game.